Oh, oh, we're in trouble. Something's come along and it's burst our bubble. Yeah, yeah. It's not funny, Pete. It's not funny. Hello and welcome to my channel. Sorry for the sun, but I can't do anything about it. Welcome to my channel where we are trying to shift some stuff on eBay and make a living out of that. If you're new here, I'm Polish Pete, eBay reseller based in UK. I buy cheap ladies clothing in bulk and I sell, sell it individually on eBay for profit. I'm also 24-7 unpaid carer for an elderly and disabled person who lives abroad. Today uh, we've got a very important video, so guys, I would be super grateful for any likes and shares that you can give me so this video can reach wider audience we are talking about changes in the algorithm today now the unquestionable fact is that something has changed and a lot of people resellers basically they are struggling on ebay at the moment I'm struggling on eBay at the moment. YouTube is full of crying now, full of crying. And I fully understand them. They are losing their businesses. Problem is that crying is not going to help us. Crying will get us nowhere. We have to find the solution. And to find the solution, we have to establish what has happened and how those changes will affect our accounts so without further ado let me tell you what i think is going on one more thing that i would like to say about myself before i start about ebay algorithm not many people know it i think i've said about it before on my channel but the channel was super tiny back then like it's a massive now yeah uh, anyway in the late 90s and early 2000, uh, while, while I was still living in Poland, I was selling stuff online via my own website and the Polish equivalent of eBay, which is called Allegro. Uh, also, I was running something uh, that back then was called websites made for AdSense. These were simple websites, uh, basically, people supposed to go there on that website and click the, the ads that you were serving there and this is this was the way that I was making money from people clicking those ads uh, so to earn money I needed to generate the traffic so I needed to push those websites up in the search results in Google and I was doing so uh, I was doing SEO was I was an amateur in that, but I had great successes. Maybe not great, but decent successes. Yeah, uh, in beating that Google algorithm to certain point in time when Google just beaten me up, and I gave up. I was unable to. Uh, I was unable to trick the algorithm anymore. Basically. Now, for whatever reason, I'm not doing that anymore, but, you know, workshop is still here, yeah? The workshop and the processes are still here, didn't go anywhere. Uh, maybe I'm too weak, maybe I'm too old to fight or to beat the algorithm or even have a decent fight with it, but I'm still able to understand algorithm I know how it works. I was in my high school, I was in the mathematical class with extended mathematics. I know the numbers and I can spot the patterns. I can run tests, I can analyze results, I can draw, conclu draw conclusions and I can find loopholes. Yeah. So basically what I'm trying to say is unless I say otherwise 
everything that I say in this video is backed up by first observation of my own sales, finding patterns, running tests, analyzing results, implementing conclusions. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a random guy pulling news out of my ass. Yeah, this is what I have found out. I don't have insider knowledge, but this is what I have found out basically on my own. So all the changes on eBay, those recent changes, have started to be clearly visible in April in US and in May in UK. They were there earlier, but not everybody spotted it. I didn't spot them or I spot them, but I didn't know what is going on. And this is how I see it. Yeah. And by the way, I'm not trying to pre preach the gospel here. I may be wrong, but I have a strong feeling that I'm right. But still, I'm like a child in a fog. I'm trying to analyze things. I'm looking for patterns and I'm trying to test stuff. And I started in June, July. And now we are in September and I think the fog is clearing and I can see the light. So situation report is that a lot of sellers is reporting troubles with selling items uh, because people can't find their items because search results, search engine doesn't work like it used to, right? What I have noticed is the bigger the shop, the bigger the inventory, the bigger the trouble, yeah? Regular Jane, with 20, 50, 60 items in her, on her eBay account, she, she is like singing like, now I have time of my life and I never ever feel like this before or whatever the song is, yeah? They are selling, small sellers, regular Janes, they are selling, yeah? While people with 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 listings are struggling to sell 10 items a day. While before they were selling 100 a day. Yeah. Those in the middle, like me, 1,500, 2,000 items. Yeah. They feel some strange. Yeah. Basically, it's tough, but it's not, not a drama. Yeah. Sales are there, maybe not so much of them, so many of them. But they are still there, yeah? Yeah, it, it's scary, but not like super scary, yeah? Uh, also, I think the glitches that were culminating three to six months, last three to, last three to six months before September, they are clearing out a bit. It's still not perfect, but they are clearing out. Uh, what else? Most, a lot of people is reporting a massive drop in promoted listings impressions yeah also there are temporary boosts in sales when you switch off your promoted listings and then switch it back on at least some people report that yeah and what i have noticed myself is that the markdown sales don't work on old listings at all you put it on the new listings they will work, people will buy them. You put it on all listings, nobody buys things, nobody looks at, at those listings, even though they, they are discounted. eBay just not pushing them, yeah? And that's the situation report, and I think we can all agree to some extent with what I said. So in my opinion, algorithm has changed, nothing has been added, nothing has been removed, at least to my understanding, but the weights of certain things have changed. I mean, something that was very, very, very important back in the days, now is a bit less important or not important almost at all. And vice versa, something not important six months ago or a year ago, now is very, very, very important, yeah? But everything works more or less like it was, but to those different degrees, yeah? Also, some loopholes that allowed 
to trick the algorithm have been closed and we can forget about them yeah especially about one which i'm going to tell you uh, that's the way it's the fact that the loopholes are being closed it's nothing new that's the way it works yeah somebody finds the loophole try to tries to exploit it algorithm has nothing against that until that's a common knowledge and there is just too many people exploiting the loophole yeah and then it has to be closed and that's what has happened so four things that i have noticed four things let's go through them together and please let me know in comment section down below if you have any other observations other conclusions you want to add something or you want to disagree with something like i've said i'm not claiming i know it all and i'm 100 percent right i'm not well i hope i am but i don't think i am 100 percent right yeah number one initial boost every time you list something ebay will give that item that listing an initial boost it lasts for about 14 days and it's slowly dying off so on the first day is the strongest and then slowly dies off yeah it may last for three days for five days but usually it lasts up to 14 days now i don't think uh, it's working anymore i i mean it, it is there but not every item gets it so back in the days 14 days could be extended when you had watchers when you had offers when you had some sort of attraction on the listing that boost was extended even if what if what it was even going up back up yeah uh, and it's still here that thing is still here when you've got a traction on the listing it, the boost is there but that initial boost for every single item that you list is not there anymore it, or at least it's there but is its significance is lower yeah it's not like ebay will push every single new listing no matter what to the point where there are listings that don't get it at all or get it like for a couple of hours they don't get traction boom they are gone uh, the days of listing like a lunatic that's all that's that that is over guys that is over the listing anything no matter what it is just listing pushing listings pushing listings that's that's gone i'm sorry that's gone yeah if you have based your business on so-called daily listing habit you screwed i'm sorry you screwed unless you are listing items that are in demand and they are selling quickly if you list long tail items well i think aldi is hiring at the moment harsh but true guys number two stale listings these are at the top of agenda at the moment stale listings for algorithm at this point are as good as a fart in a broken lift if something is six months old it's practically invisible for the algorithm or i would rather say it is in it is visible for the algorithm but it is it, it is invisible for the buyers maybe it's not, not even six months maybe it's 90 days yeah i have to confirm that with more tests to be fair but I'm, I'm scared to run them because I don't want my items to run for six months and I'm not going to get any sales out of that. So, yeah, I don't know yet what to do. And the more stale listings you have, the less traffic you are going to get to your good listings. It was always the case, but now it is amplified. It is amplified to a ridiculous degree. To a ridiculous degree if you have too much stale listings you are not going to get sales at all at all some random sales you're gonna get 
basically random sales. So not only you, you won't be able to flip those stale listings, but you will also have trouble to flip those freshly listed items because your whole account is ranked lower. Yeah. An algorithm will not push your items, will not send you traffic. Again, if your shop is full of long tail items, which have turned stale, go and check that Aldi website because you are flogging the dead horse here. I I'm sorry, but this is how it looks like. Obviously, there are exceptions to, to the rule, like, like with every rule, there is always an exception, yeah? Number three, highly correlated with number two, promoted listings and markdown sales on stale listings don't work. Back in the days, it was a good, good way to get rid of your sticky stock, not anymore which is why a lot of resellers report that they have increased promoted listing fees and nothing has happened. They are running 50% markdown sale and nothing is selling. There is no visibility whatsoever on stale listings, whether it's organic visibility or promoted visibility. It's not there. Obviously, exceptions to the rule. Once in blue moon, yeah, some, a sale may happen, yeah? But for the last three months, when I'm paying attention to this, noting every single sale on the piece of paper, over 90% of my sales from promoted listings were items that were younger than, than nine months. 95 percent i would say but surely over 90 percent yeah surely not. I, I can't remember the exact number but it was probably like something 93 94 yeah younger than nine months nothing older has has sold and i've got items that are three years old not many of them but i still have them yeah so once in blue moon i've sold them but not like on a regular basis and no matter what i'm what I'm trying to do with them, they are not selling. In general, eBay will not push stale listings, even via paid channels like promoted listings or at a discounted price like markdown sales. My promoted listings impressions are down by 60% comparing to previous months because eBay has stopped to show those old items, even though they have the higher promoting listing fee uh, among my items. The, the, basically, the older the item is, the higher the fee I pay. Yeah, They are not showing. They are not showing at all. No traction whatsoever. Yeah. Do you remember uh, last month, more or less a month ago, when promoted listings impressions went down for a week, like 50% down for a week, and then they went back up? It happens to me as well. And then they were gradually going down, 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 down. And then after a month, they are exactly in the in the point where they were during that one week drop. Obviously that one week drop created a shit storm on YouTube and eBay probably pulled it up and started to do it gradually. Yeah. And it's, it's all there back again, how it's supposed to be according to Google. It's eh, sorry according to eBay. And finally, number four. Uh, that's tough. And and sell similar doesn't work anymore. Or at least doesn't work as much as it used to. I don't know how eBay does it, but they know that the listing you've just ended and sold similar is an old listing, stale listing. They know it. Initially, about six months ago, I thought they are using duplicate listing feature, but maybe they have something new, something really more sophisticated, yeah, to determine that. 
but the, the fact is that and and cell similar does not work as much as it used to nowadays you have to do changes in the listing i preached that for some time probably from june july that was the first thing that i have noticed items with changes were selling about five to six times more often that items without any changes just ended and released it yeah or ended and sold similar yeah minor change in the title was giving decent results yeah but i think you have to do more now yeah how much i don't know yeah problem is that if you have to do those changes in every listing every time you end and sell similar and that's a lot of work isn't it yeah if you have neglected item specifics you can add them now but the problem is that when you add them now you have you will have to figure out something else next time you're gonna end and release it yeah and and sell similar it so i don't know yeah i would at the moment i wouldn't leave listings for longer than 90 days so something has to be changed in the listings for four times a year yeah four times a year so when you have 50,000 listings that's a lot of changes isn't it a lot of work so what i've tried was increasing postage by 10 pence that worked uh, to some extent uh, so if you haven't increased your postage for a long time maybe now it's time to do it and kill two birds with one stone yeah give your listings a boost treat them as new listings and increase your postage which you wanted to do anyway and it can be done in bulk so it's faster yeah i've also tried to add sentence to my generic description and moving sentence you know from top to bottom from bottom to top whatever just do some shuffle yeah uh, the problem is that then <laughs> it's flipping time and effort isn't it what i haven't tried is changes in photos and either redoing them which is ridiculous yeah that's a ridiculous idea to redo your photos yeah too much work for not enough uh, money yeah or maybe swapping places of those photos yeah i mean what what was in the end put it to the front what was in the front put it to the end i don't know you catch my drift Re rearranging them yeah also i'm also thinking about cropping those photos yeah but cropping them on ebay may not work cropping them in this like a third part the software and re-uploading them that's too much hassle but i think cropping them on even on ebay is maybe worth a shot you know to be tested in the future but in it actually may be worth a shot yeah so to summarize guys uh, before i will give you at least some solutions ebay wants you to sell they don't want you to list anymore list 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 like a lunatic will get you nowhere it has worked i can agree it has worked for some some time uh, but what you are doing is you are growing your storage and ebay does not want that ebay does not want 50 billion items on ebay when only two percent of them is selling at least that's how it look like it, that's how it looks like yeah yeah it will get you nowhere listing like a lunatic will get you to the job center yeah this train is gone yeah so the train with long tail items which have a, a low sell through rate that's that train is gone as well yeah i wish it wasn't true but i seriously think it is like that unfortunately so i here and now i proclaim a daily listing habit as a song of the past unfortunately unless you can list items that will sell quickly and you will sell a vast majority majority of what you list that's a different story yeah
but if you list 100 a day and after a month you still have 80 of them or 85 of them or even 90 of them yeah then you may reconsider yeah big shops full of long tail items are in trouble and we can all see that and I hope you guys will find a solution to this but I can't see it at the moment yeah even with my pink glasses on I can't see it yeah if you wish to list like you were before be my guest of, or if you even want to double down and list twice as many be my guest but in my opinion it will take you to the end of the road basically and it's not going to be your destination it's going to be like a dead end yeah i'm sorry if i were you a shop with long tail items i would get out of out of the box and i would try to look at it freshly freshly i would try to concentrate on le not on listing but on selling on pulling that sell through rate up instead of listing more 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 so okay let's talk about solutions yeah not much to say here unfortunately i'm still thinking about it but already i have some ideas this is what i have came up with in the last two three days number one auctions they still work they still work like they used to there is still visibility boost and all that list your items as auction first then put it into buy it now try to sell it for 90 days change it back to auction try to sell it as auction change it back to buy it now try to sell it for 90 days change it back to auction change it back to that until it sells it should work should with should being the keyword here i'm not sure 100 percent sure it should work every time you change it from buy it now to auction it should be a new listing to algorithm and then if you change it from auctions to buy it now it should be a new listing to algorithm i'm testing it right now at the moment i'll probably come back with some results in three months time maybe six months time number two ending item and selling similar it but waiting 90 days to do it nine zero yeah yeah 90 days yeah now before you start shouting at me that ebay will delete those listings use your brain and the listing sell similar schedule now every now and again go to your schedule listings and reschedule them to the long, to the later date and then you put them live after 90 days has pa have passed ebay gets rid of all listings and after 90 days there is no trace of the old listing there's there's no trace if you can look your old sold listings there is this like a maybe from time to time you will find something but in general google deletes that listing and it's not there anymore and when you list after 90 days it treats it as a new listing that has been tried by me tested many times because i sell clothing and in summer i keep my all my winter items in my scheduled listings and i put them back in september and then in march they are going back to scheduled listings and i do the same with summer items only different seasons yeah and it works as soon as they've been there for half a year and they go back to ebay they sell like hotcakes they sell like they were new listings yeah i do understand that there are people who don't want to keep half of their listings of ebay offline not in active listings for 90 days fine give me better solution i will i'll be more than happy to apply it yeah so yeah like i've said if you are selling clothing and you keep your summer stuff during the winter you are shooting yourself in your foot all you're gonna get is stay listings 
even if you're gonna get impressions and views that's going to be empty impressions and empty views because you are not going to sell them yes you are going to sell some exception of the rule yeah number three running two shops run item in first shop for six months then move it to second shop run there for six months move it back to first shop run there for six months move it back to second shop until it sells yeah 90 days is is just not enough time 90 days is, is switching it now after 90 days that would be a lot of work but if you have time then you can by any means you can do it but i would do it after six six months again i do run two shops and this works like magic items that i couldn't sell for three years in my one of my shops i moved them to the second shop and i've sold them within a month why i have no idea because they were stale listings and ebay was not pushing them they have gone to the second shop boom new listing ebay is pushing it boom sold yeah okay ebay will definitely consider that as a 100 percent new listing because it's on another account yeah on my main shop i had a drop in promoted listings 60 percent my second shop is doing fine no drop at all maybe like a tiny drop five ten percent but nothing more than that it's doing fine because there is no stay listings because every listing there is like a six months old maximum because this is this was when i was starting to pull them from my main shop and putting them there finally number four uh, we have to be a little bit more aggressive with taking offers, sending offers, markdowns, lowering prices after two, three months, just to get those items sold quickly before they will run stale, yeah, turn stale. Like I've said, the train named list and forget, it's gone. The train has already left the station and it's not coming back. List and forget is not going to work anymore. Anything older than six months is a bust now. The anchor, yeah. The anchor called stale listings became twice as heavy as it was before. And number five, guys, bonus tip, followers. Gain those followers on eBay. They will bring you repeated business. Go an extra mile to get followers. I've done video about that, go and check it out if you don't know what I'm talking about. Your job is not finished when you have dispatched the item. You have to tie up your customer, your satisfied customer to your shop. For him, your shop has to be the shop to go to. Yeah, That's the best way. If you have 2000 uh, followers, you are laughing. You don't give a shit about search results because you're gonna get so much repeated business that you're gonna survive on that alone i'm sorry guys that it's all doom and gloom but i don't believe in saying no news is a good news the sooner you hear the bad news the sooner you can do something about it the higher the chance you're gonna survive i hope you found this video interesting if you have please don't forget to click that like button i would be very ob very obliged if you could share this video with, with your friends so i could reach a wider audience and if you wish to support the channel further and you haven't subscribed yet consider doing so take care of yourself guys i'll see you next time god bless you all and bye bye